everyone. Welcome to The Verdict on AN24 TV. My name is Timmy Tayo Peters. On The Verdict today, we'll be looking at something very crucial. We will be looking at the unfortunate incident that was reported about the late Dr. Waire Daiso, who died in an elevator accident at the General Hospital, Odon, Lagos Island. Report has it that the elevator crashed from the 10th floor to the ground floor. And afterwards, the late Dr. Waire, who sustained severe injuries and fractured bones, was rushed to the emergency ward and afterwards she gave up her ghost. The story has brought about a mixed reaction on social media among professional colleagues, great Nigerians, home and abroad, wondering why an elevator in a government hospital would develop a mechanical failure for that matter and have a free fall all the way from the 10th floor to the ground. According to report as well, the late doctor's colleagues, you know, they said that they have complained severally to the hospital management who have failed to act about it. In fact, they had to decongest people who make use of the elevator because of its crappy state. It's just one death to many. In the middle of this tragic incident as well, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somolu has ordered for thorough investigation into this incident. Also, in this similitude, the Nigeria Medical Association, Lagos State Chapter, has declared five-day mourning for the late Dr. Waire Daiso, unbiased investigation into the unfortunate incident as well, that everyone culpable should be brought to justice, especially Lagos State Infrastructure Management Agency. Also, revamping of blood transfusion system Amongst many, an indefinite strike too was also declared. Now, the latest development is that the Lagos State Government has set up a panel to investigate this unfortunate incident. Hmm. Concerns have been raised by great Nigerians out there. They want immediate action or steps even taken by the state government. Has anyone been prosecuted, sacked, or even suspended? Pending the time that uh, the outcome of this issue will be known to the public. We have a lot of cases in Lagos State that people believe that they might have been swept under the carpet. Let's let's take for instance the Ikoyi building collapse that actually claimed innocent life. The Bamishe Ayonwala BRT saga is still hanging in the air. Up until now, we don't have anything concrete we can hold the state government on, right? Do you blame Nigerians who think that the investigative panel on this latest death issue raised by the state government, don't you think that it might just be another wild goose chase? Well, will the law take its course or is just news of panel setting as usual? Questions like, who is the contractor that was given the contract? Who was responsible for the maintenance of the elevator? More questions need to be answered by the Lagos state government. Well, like I said, people are not asking for too much. The only thing we are asking for is the truth from the government, which is just, equitable, and fair. Will the Lagos State government rise above all forms of sentiment and come out clean from this ugly incident? Only time will actually tell, honestly. Well, let's know your thoughts. Let's know your thoughts, your opinion about this ugly incident. What are your verdicts about this unfortunate incident? Well, don't forget to join us on another edition on The Verdict. My name is Demi Tayo Peters. I'll see you next time.